This is Annette Dion. I'm the host and founder of the Psychic News Network. There's people yelling. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Uh, today's Friday, April 12th, 2024. Hey, um, there's a lot going on as usual. Can you believe that just on Monday we had a solar eclipse and it just seems like there's so much that's happened, so much gets packed into a week, it feels like the solar eclipse was a month ago. Are you with me? Time's going incredibly fast. Um, excuse the noise in the background. Where I am, it's constant activity and constant noise and I might as well get used to it because I'm, I'm kind of moving into the downtown for, for realsy. So I hope you're doing great. I hope you had a good Friday, a nice Friday. Time is zipping by. I know it was just Monday we had the solar eclipse and it just seems like, wasn't that a month ago? Um, I have my Ukraine button on. I'm very concerned about Ukraine. Um, and I'm wondering if we can all do, maybe I can do this tomorrow, if we can all do like a, a thought process where we, we clear the way with our thoughts for Ukraine to get the aid that they need because Vladimir Putin cannot, cannot win this. 79 years ago today, Mary Truman became president of I better put my glasses on. I see Mary Truman came pre became president of the United States. Wishful thinking, right? Speaking of powerful women. See my new sign? I just made it. Because I just heard Kamala Harris giving a speech about women's rights being taken away in Arizona. And she said the words. And that those are words that I keep saying too. That I want to get out to mainstream media. But she was saying them in reference to Donald Trump. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to ignore the rude people that are talking really loud behind me. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of reading. Kamala was awesome. Barbara saw Kamala. I didn't see the whole speech because I cut away from it. Um, this is, you know, what there, there's like there's certain times in life. There's certain times in history where it's like strike while the iron's hot, get in there when, you know, activate when the activation is going to have the most potency. And that's what we're in right now. Activate while the activating is going to just, is going to really work. It's going to be like supercharged. So think about that with all that you're doing to help save democracy. Donald Trump is teetering on the edge of insanity. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, I tend to stay quiet, you know, so it's like when people are being really loud, it's like, that's, you're not the only one in the world. <laughs> I say that often. Warren, you're asking me the same question I've answered a million times. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull some cards. And see what's going to happen um, in Arizona. I have in my mind to have a campaign uh, uh, that, that's entitled Stop Gaslighting Us. Hang on. my Scorpio up. <laughs> so I want to start a campaign called Stop Gaslighting Us to send to the mainstream media. And so that's going to be kind of a campaign that we that we do. I'm going to pull three cards about, oh, they're bouncing out of my hand. 
about how it's going to go in, uh, in Arizona, what impact Kamala Harris will have. You were taking pictures of a rainbow, Thomas. Wow, that's awesome. So three cards about the the impact of Kamala on on America with going to Arizona, just that specifically. So we'll take a look. I don't know how the weather's been where you all are, but all day today it was really, really, really windy, pretty rainy, and it just seems to not stop. So while all this is going on in our country, we have global climate change. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, <clears throat> oh, Amy's home early enough. She's on the West Coast. Glad that you're here. Glad you're you're catching us live. Torrential rains and high winds. Yeah, it's been pretty much steadily bad weather, except for a break of a maybe two, three days here and there. For the past like six to eight weeks, it's been very, very bad weather. Um, and what's happening here? I'm I'm reading on Arizona right now. But what's happening here? is that on the coast, this is like repeated hours and days and going into months now, repeated pounding of waves on the shore. And it's just like, Cheryl knows what I'm talking about because she's in Maine. It just doesn't really stop. It just, it's like, okay, big spell of rain and wind and, you know, and, and destruction. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe two days of a break and then just like the wind the wind just died down I was listening to it all day so that's um it's a little unsettling so as far as Kamala and what's going on in Arizona I have the eight of swords this is how the women in, in, um, in Arizona are feeling it's very scary you need more rain in Minnesota jeez I wish we could just send it over and Jackie's like, I'm in Maine, the weather sucks. I know. It's been unbelievable. Flooding in Massachusetts. Somebody's here from Massachusetts. The rivers are high. Yep. Wind and rain in Texas also. So so we're talking about the weather and we're also talking about the uh, abortion ban in Arizona. Now, I don't have a tape of it to show you, a video clip of it to show you, but um, maybe I'll, I'll grab it for Monday. Right before the state legislature, the Supreme Court in Arizona, decided to take away women's freedom, they were on the floor of the meeting room in the state house, or the courthouse, and they were speaking, they were on the floor, kneeling, praying, speaking in tongues, pleading for Jesus' mercy to help take women's freedoms away. It was, it was despicably evil. Well, evil is pretty despicable anyway. It was very disturbing. Yeah, so I don't know if any of you saw that. They're, they're on the floor, and they're praying, and they're speaking in tongues, which I always thought sounded real weird anyway. First time I ever heard people speaking in tongues loud, loudly, I was like, what the heck is that? Nothing against people that speak in tongues. Cheryl saw it. So, I mean, it almost like... <laughs> it almost looked like... I'm not saying it was, but it almost looked like a demonic ritual. It was freaking bizarre. So I'm telling you about it because I know a lot of you, a lot of people, not you, but a lot of people, you know, miss things, which is why I like to bring them up so you can go find them online. The women and, and yeah, religion and state is supposed to be separate. That's what this country is founded on. So this is how the women in Arizona feel, and this is the conditions that they're heading into right now. But Kamala Harris going there, which is what I'm reading on, which is what, what I'm pulling cards on, brings strength to the cause and it's a new a brand new message so raining all day in nova scotia you're not far from where i am or maine 
it's it's bring it, it's bringing strength and it's a, there's a brand new message. Yes, local elections definitely matter a lot. Yeah, it looks like they're possessed, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, let's see. John's reporting it rained all day in Toledo, Ohio. Heavy at times. Today was a lot better, and the tree company was able to cut down a sick tree. Yeah. While all while all this chaos is going on in this country and in the world for that matter, we're getting pummeled by global climate change. It's just it, it's like we need to deal with stuff. <laughs> um, so Kamala's message was strong about women being um, held captive in a, in a particular way with their their uh, rights, women's rights being taken away. There's a brand new message. You can see the Biden campaign is really coming out with this, hitting, hitting back really quickly with a powerful ad about these abortion bans. So as the reason that Kamala Harris was saying enough with the gaslighting was because, you know, Trump was all about like, he's, he's sick, he's a sick minded human being. It's so obvious. He was all about, oh, I'm so proud. I took away women's rights. He doesn't say it like that, but, but, but he might as well be saying, I'm so glad I'm a misogynist who hates women and, 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 and who likes to rape and grope women. I'm so glad I'm a misogynist and I'm so glad that I hate women so much that I've taken away their freedom. Good for me, rah, rah. Thank you, all you justices on the Supreme Court that took away women's freedom with me. I'm saying in my words what he's saying. What he's actually saying and has said is he thinks that women should be punished. He thinks that women should be punished. So what well, we're gonna we're gonna just I'll ponder this for a second. Who causes a woman to be pregnant? He thinks that women should be punished. Yeah, Electrostorm is is pounding at us all, you know. Finally wake people up about local elections matter. How often, hey Michael, good Friday evening to you. How often we think about Marjorie Trader Green. What are people in her district thinking that that's a good thing? That that's a good thing? Marjorie Trader Green? We live in historic times, and I'm going to tell you, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If your soul clearly, obviously incarnated during this time, this epic of history, and you're here, and you're watching the news, and you're involved, you, you have your work cut out for you. We all do. Hey, hi from Australia. Haven't seen you in a while, David Bent. All right, so <clears throat> three cards above the Donald. First, I'm going to ask the pendulum. By the way, thank you all for being here tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask the pendulum if this uh, if this April fifteenth, if it's really happening that there'll be jury selection and Trump will go on trial. If, if it's going to happen on the date that we are expecting it to, which is April 15th. And please uh, hit the thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. Is he going to, is this, is this all going to happen on Monday the 15th? It's giving me a little bit of the runaround. What did one hat say to the other? You stay here, I'll go on ahead. <laughs> I have heard that one. We have more people picking up the slack with the dad jokes. Okay, so looky, looky what I have here. So we're going to find out more about that. What I'm asking is, is everything going to go ahead as scheduled on the 15th? And it's giving me the runaround. Isn't that interesting? Let's take the nefarious cards out. Let's do this. I love you too. Rose is getting a strong yes that it will. I think that my pendulum is picking up something. 
Yeah, so Warren's saying, will Trump fire his lawyers this weekend so that there is a delay? Well, my pendulum's giving me the runaround a little bit. Let's do it. Trump has declared all hell is going to break loose on Monday. That's what Steve Bannon said before January 6th. You think your pendulum rose is listening to mine? Let's ask again. Is everything going to go ahead as scheduled on Monday? I'm seeing some complications. I love you too. You guys are so loving. You're so sweet. I really appreciate it. Always. Well, you know, that's interesting. I'm going to take out our, for a little bit, magicians, martyrs, and madmen cards. And these cards have gotten more use than I ever anticipated that they would get. And that's because they're dark. Because we're reading on some very dark energy people. So what is up with me getting that uh, it's not going to go as scheduled? Sissy loves watching the Republicans turn on each other. You laughed hard. Yeah, yeah, they, they are turning. There's a lot of infighting there, but, you know, we really, we, we would rather have a country that can function. <laughs> it is, in a certain way, it brings us pleasure to just see them, you know, they're getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Warren's, uh, Warren's reporting that it's group hug time. All right, ready? We're gonna uh, we're gonna group hug, and I'm gonna just ask that we send an intention that Ukraine gets the aid. Manifest manifest the loser behind bars. Yeah, I like it. That too. Okay, one, two, three, hug. We are hugging. We are hugging. It makes me feel like I have a whole bunch of friends, even though you're virtual. Three cards about more insight about Monday. Yeah, so please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and please tell your friends. I've gotten into a habit of I'm not looking at my numbers anymore. <laughs> so just help me, help me to raise my numbers, and what I'll do is when you tell me that I have a lot more people subscribed, I'll look then. <laughs> a lot more views. Okay, let's uh, see what's going to happen because I'm getting a little bit of interference on the schedule for Monday. We are family. Yes, you are my family. You're right. On Monday. I'm wondering if Trump is going to feign sickness. I'm wondering if uh, if Trump is going to uh, somehow, I keep, I'm getting the word unfit. Yes, thank you, Terry. I'm close to 8,000 subscribers. My views are, are pr pretty quite low. I mean, but, but anyway, like I said, I'm not looking. <laughs> uh, okay, so on Monday, it looks like he's going to uh, not be well. I'm not really sure if that's physical or meant maybe claiming as COVID? Let's ask. This is very kind of puzzling. That's why we come to the psychic table. Is is he gonna is is he gonna be um I I'm picking up he's gonna feign sickness. That's, that's weirding me out. I didn't expect to see that. Hey, Rose, I took out my tourmaline. I put a string on it. Let's ask the tourmaline. Is Donald Trump, is he, is he going to feign sickness? Is he, is, is that what's going to happen? It's not, I'm not quite hitting it on the head. I'm not quite hitting, hitting it on the head. Okay. <clears throat> Is Donald Trump, is is there going to be a bomb threat? I'm picking up, I'm picking up bomb threat. I'm not saying that will happen, but you know, like when you were in school, that someone would call in a bomb threat, that kind of thing. He's sending out messages for troops to show to his trial on Monday. I'm getting a delay. <clears throat> not a, like a court delay, like filing papers to delay and, and a, you know, appeal. I'm not picking up that. 
Trump may actually get sick this weekend. He's not he's not going to sleep and he will seethe and rage all weekend long. Well, that's nothing new though. All right, let's see. All right, I'm picking up on a couple things. One is sickness and one is um, interference through like a bomb threat. Hello. It's just what I'm picking up. Will he fire his lawyers? Will he fire his, will Trump fire his lawyers? Yes. Hmm. He might claim, I suspect he might claim no contest, then yes, once in jail he will have a stomach issue to exit. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty in depth. <clears throat> Let me ask if, if that's, that that's testing out kind of accurate. Can I group hug for Healing Mother Earth also? All right, let's group hug for Healing Mother Earth. Group hug for Healing Mother Earth. I could do that all day. <clears throat> we're, let's let's just we'll look at that a little bit later. Later, we're, we're look at it a little bit later. We're gonna um, go to a different topic and kind of come back to that. Um, I'm very, like, aware that as things get closer and he gets in more and more trouble, that we're going to see him really stoke you know, stochastic terrorist threats, which it doesn't take a psychic, but I really am feeling that. <clears throat> what I'm going to, yeah, only jury me and pick this week, but there's something on... Something on Monday that's kind of jamming the gears. Will they will it be successful for them to jam for him to jam the gears? Will it be it won't be successful. It's just gonna be a lot of drama. <laughs> Janice like that group hug. It's just gonna be a lot of drama. Yep. Now, I'm going to pull cards about Maga Mike. It's going to be a lot of drama. Whatever's going on on Monday, they're going to choose, they're going to pick the jury, and it, it's just because he, he's a drama queen. Domestic terrorist threats, definitely, I do see that. Maga Mike went to Mar-a-Lago. Sounds like a song. Maga Mike went to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Chaos is his comfort zone. It's true. Judge Marshawn isn't having it, and that's why Trump is getting so freaked out. So Maga Mike has gone to Mar-a-Lago. I really should write a song. <laughs> it wouldn't take long. If I come up with a song about Maga, Maga Mike goes to Mar-a-Lago, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll tell you how it goes when I finish it. Does he have to be there Monday? I don't think he has to be there Monday. You guess security will be stepped up for the witnesses? I hope so. Dad joke. You guys want to hear a joke about pizza? Never mind. It's too cheesy. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I almost got a slice of pizza today. I was having an urge for pizza. I can I can always do that afterwards. But it's the it's the cold, damp, rainy, windy weather. And I, I'm an outdoor exerciser, and I've just been bailing on that. It's just been so gross out for so long. All right, three cards about Maga Mike going to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> John, thank you for your nice comment on my sub stack. I noticed um, Terry pointed it out, so that reminds me. Please go to Substack and be a subscriber for a Grassroots of Democracy group. I write articles on Substack now, so please it's free. Become a subscriber. Beef stew and biscuits weather. Is that what you're having, Rose? Maga Mike goes to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. See, Terry made it easy. You just, you just click on the link and sign up. Just subscribe to my Substack. It's the same newsletter I send out with Grassroots of Democracy uh, three times a week. I write an article. Maga Mike goes to Mar-a-Lago. Okay, so I was fantasizing today that Mar Maga Mike would step off the plane, 
this is just my dream, my fantasy. A termite walks into a bar and asks, what? <laughs> is the bartender here? <laughs> um, I had a fantasy of Maga Mike walking off an airplane in Florida and being arrested. It was just a wish that I have. So as far as I'm going to Mar-a-Lago, I see the tower. I see the Nine of Swords. This is, this is not good. Judge can deny the loser's petition to fire lawyers. Yeah, yeah, well, hang on. He can deny the loser's petition to fire lawyers, and he will. However, the chaos still ensues. Yeah, I'm not saying that Judge Michonne doesn't know that that's what Trump has up his sleeve. I don't think Judge Michonne is, is stupid at all. There's still going to be drama. Because... Uh, because Trump doesn't know how to not have drama. I don't think he would know what to do with himself if he didn't have drama. Can you imagine living your entire life in court? The Nine of Swords, it's not, it's, I feel like there, there, there's, maybe that's why I was having that little kind of, you know, fantasy of Maga Mike getting off the airplane. Was that a psychic impression? I think it was. I think I was picking up on something there. I think that was my guides showing me that they're following, they're, they're on to him. Yeah, so it was really nice, John, that, to, for you to leave a comment. Yeah, I appreciate it. And by the way, I thought you were signed up for Grassroots of Democracy months and months and months ago. Um, is, am I, would I, did I have that sort of vis vision because Maga Mike is, somebody's on his trail? It's because somebody's on his trail. Count on Trump losing his complete and total mind Sunday night before trial. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to hazard a guess at how many times he's going to post on his social, his tanking social media platform, let's just, let's have a little contest. Let's see who gets closest. How many times do you think he'll post on his social, how about, how about this? Over the weekend, you joined the site twice. Oh, grassroots of democracy. Oh, just keep signing up. Over the <laughs> 128, 500 times. Yes, I, I, Jack is on. I, I definitely get very strongly and very clearly Maga Mike on the plane to Mar a Lago. I think he's there now, but totally being tracked totally being tracked 666 times so the question we're asking if you're just joining us if, or if you missed it is how many times do we think that the loser is going to post on his social media platform over the weekend i'm going to guess um, about 320 so remember, hang on to that number from, from, okay, so it's Friday night. From Friday night through Sunday night. I'm going to say 320 posts on his social media platform. His, <laughs> we should just, we should just call it this. The failing truth social media you know how he always says a failing New York Times or whatever. Well, Trump's supposed to be in all caps. Uh, I think it doesn't take a psychic. Who's assigned for keeping count? Well, usually, like Midas Touch will tell you, they keep, they keep count. If somebody else wants to keep count, I mean, I'm not on Truth Social, obviously. As far as Maga Mike goes, I do feel like we're going to find out that they, he, he has been tracked by the FBI, and we will be glad. Davis is 420. I'm at 320. Whoever wins gets a... I'm serious. Whoever wins... We're going to have to do it on the honest honesty policy. Can get a 
free personal question asked. Answered. Gets me in a cottage. <laughs> Let's see. 84. Catherine, that's kind of low. More about what's going on at Mar-a-Lago. I'm going to pull three cards. I definitely feel like it's being, it's being tracked. Diane's going to get a new knee on Monday. Very good. Yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, uh, Michael's saying, I guess that Maga Mike had to go bend the knee and kiss the ring of Donald Trump. That's what they do. It's, he's a true mob boss, and it's truly a cult. Uh, collab with Marianne in Australia. Does she do collaborations? Maybe you can ask her for me. You like Damon's... <laughs> it just hit me! <laughs> Damon's saying 420. What's today's the 12th? That's 420 is next Saturday. Oh, 420 falls on a Saturday. Are you sure that's what Mike kissed? <laughs> All right, you get a bell. <laughs> what Mike and Mike kissed? <laughs> but um bum it took me a while to get it. He said four. I, I was I was thinking in my head four hundred and twenty. I wasn't thinking four twenty. <laughs> but I said three twenty. Three more cards about what the heck is going on. Like I, apparently, what I heard is Maga Mike is going to Mar a Lago. I really am going to write a little song. Four twenty always works for Tammy. To, to have a press conference to push lies about the 2020 election. It's freaking 2024. Can we just stop it already? Enough with the gaslighting. <laughs> it was perfect. When Kamala Harris said that today, when she was giving a speech in Arizona, like, new sign, new sign alert. What else about Mar-a-Lago? Oh, the, I, this has to do with Russia. Oh, that's interesting. Um, there's an offer. I feel like Maga Moses Mike Johnson. <laughs> After 420, I'll need manicotti potato chips topped with ice cream. <laughs> Oh, you're funny. If falls on a Saturday, you might as well have a pot party. I, gosh, I can't even begin to tell you how much Russia stuff I'm feeling at Mar-a-Lago. I don't think it was just that, Tara. He wished he visited 45 to make a point to upset Marjorie Trader Green. She must be so jealous. Yeah, I think it wasn't just that, though. Trump makes them all come to Mar-a-Lago so he can rent more rooms. No, I'm not picking that up, but I am picking up a meeting that has to do with Russia. So it's like a Russia too, right? One broken man abused by another broken man. Trump, Johnson, presser ridiculed online. Oh, I like it. I like it. Damon says, how much you want to bet Annette's got a bong? I don't. <laughs> I do not own a bong. You're distracting me from the question. <laughs> not that that's like something that doesn't happen here. Uh, Maga Mike and mar lago they're talking to Russia. Oh, hi, Australia. We had a few people from Australia here tonight. Thanks for being here. I guess it's tomorrow where you are. <laughs> See where you started, Damon? Now everybody's like, they're going to be sending me bongs in the mail. <laughs> uh, whoa, I, I just, you know, as far as what's going on down there in, in Florida, at the country club, it's pretty, it's pretty thick. It's pretty, pretty heavily, heavy dose of, of Vlad. Sticking with the nefarious cards and this topic, tell me more about that. 
Mike doesn't have a checking account. You know, where there's so much going on that it seems that so many are getting away with, we can, and we'll read on this too. I think it's a good question to read on. We're really hoping and praying that the FBI and the DOJ are all working undercover to find out as much as they can about these connections to our enemies. Yes, Cheryl, good good thought. Thank you to all our other countries that are here to support our democracy. Yeah, I, I haven't, haven't expressed my gratitude in a little while. Thank you for all of you from other countries that are that are rooting for America. We appreciate it. There's a lot of crazies here. Dad joke, how did the hacker escape the, the FBI? He ran somewhere. He ran somewhere. <laughs> We're going to have to figure out a way, a way to tip Thomas. Cash doesn't need a checking account. Yeah, the, you know what? I'm telling you. They're keeping an eye on Maga Mike. I can see it. And... That meeting at Mar-a-Lago has Russia all over it. You don't understand why these Republicans are not getting into trouble getting in assistance from the Russians and other fascist nations. We don't really, we're not very good at dealing with this kind of thing. <laughs> Thomas only takes Manicotti. I got to figure it out how to ship it. Thank you, Warren, for endorsing my readings. Three more cards about this. Here comes the noise again. The light will be shown. I can't reveal this card to you because there's a naked woman. But the sun, the light will be shown. That's the sun. On what's going on. Gloria's telling me in dry ice. I'll see what I can do. Uh, the Knight of Swords, yes. The Knight of Swords is the DOJ, is prosecutors. I think it's going to be found out. I think we're going to hear some news about what's been going on at Mar-a-Lago. Mike might also stash his money in Joel Osteen's church bathroom. No, I'm not picking that up. No, I'm picking that up. Let's read about what's going to happen to those... Oh, I thought this would come up as if, as if to confirm Marlado, but Marlado bugged when they searched. I'm picking up that there's, I wonder if Marlago is, has got hidden microphones. I don't think that these meetings are happening without being tracked. I, I really don't. When the U.S. sneezes, we get a cold in Canada. We are here for you 100%. We love it. Thank you. It's not been easy. I know Canada has its challenges too. But this is just crazy, crazy stuff. The, the fake electors. Uh, the one, there's a woman in Arizona who's in big fat trouble. That was part of the, remember the, the, the ninja, the, what would they call them? The cyber ninjas? She headed that whole thing up and she was all, what's her name? I think it was a Kathy or something. I don't know. I didn't write down her name or anything because I wasn't planning on reading on her. But I do have this on my mind that the, the fake electors and the ones that tried to cheat and steal election machines, I feel like they have it coming to them. So what's gonna happen with the, the fake electors? You know, the cyber ninjas and all those in, uh, in, in Arizona, particularly. Justice, well, there you go. We're going to see I mean, it's right here, justice. We're going to see what we've been seeing, kind of. We're going to see the little people, the people. It's going to be more of that. The people that are lower on the totem pole when it comes to election fraud and January 6th and all that. 
we're going to see a lot of people like the fake electors. They're going to they're going to have they're going to serve jail time. Let's check Maga Mike's knees. <laughs> Are you guessing 400 posts on Truth Social? Is that, is, that, is that your final answer over the weekend from Trump? They know everything that goes on in mar a Well, according to the cards, they do. But anyway, back to the fake electors. The fake electors are facing justice. This has to do with, um, also with Georgia. They will be roasted... They're not all going to prison, but they will have to, yeah. It's been an exhaustive investigation into these electors. There's a lot of layers. Maga Mike better be praying. I'm not sure who Maga Mike actually prays to. What's happening with Fani? We've heard, we've heard much about it. Uh... Joanne is going with 551 Trump posts over the weekend. That'd be interesting. So, uh, Damon's guessing 401 posts from Trump over the weekend. <laughs> are y'all going to be counting? Sucks that our tax sellers are paying for Maga Mike to be there. Well, this is a wake-up call. I'm going to pull three cards about the ab abortion situation. What's going to, uh, I don't know if I need the nefarious cards. I kind of want to just see what's going to happen for America. So let's do, do the these little mini dark wood tarot. These are kind of cool. Fanny Willis is moving forward. Yeah, it's not that she's not working on things, but she's had enough of the limelight. Thank you very much. 551 posts. We're having a contest. Cheryl says 220. I think I think that the loser can post way more over the entire weekend. <laughs> Damon wants the new car in the dining set. <laughs> Gloria saying 500 posts on, on Truth Social over the weekend. We shall see. Uh, what's going to happen with abortion bans? Okay, let's let's say over the next say three months. Oh, the American people are really angry. Robert's saying a thousand truth social posts. So we're talking about from tonight to Sunday night. <laughs> Christine keeps saying 666. What's so bad about this crap? Trump and all his... It's just so damn wearying. I know. So Michael, I want to point something out to you because you might not know this. In an authoritarian coup... In an authoritarian takeover, in, 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 in tyranny, in fascism, it's, a, it's, it's an endurance test. It's a, like whoever, whoever can stay standing wins. So you know, we all know how hard we've been working. We all know how much we've had to pay attention. We all know, and believe me, you all it is exhausting but the guys in Midas touch the people in Midas touch they're not quitting i'm not quitting you're not quitting we just keep going yeah the seagulls are out in spring they're coming back we're on the abortion ban what's going to happen with these abortion bans it it's waking people up yes the seagulls are back they they were real quiet for a few months in the winter Okay, so as far as the abortion bans go, this is what I'm saying. <clears throat> there will be people uh, that are complicit in getting these abortion bans, you know, like resurrecting this law from 1865, that are going to be reeled in because I feel like some of them have committed crimes. <laughs> Donald Trump can't keep his diaper up. He's full of it. Good one, Damon. But um, bum. People are waking up because this is too much. 
You wonder what 45's blood pressure and cortisol levels are? I would say high. Like 420 high. Um, <laughs> all right, serious topic. What's going to happen with abortion bans? Now, I got the Page of Pentacles in the other deck, too, when I was reading on um, the impact of Kamala Harris's speech today. And this is like, it's a brand new message for Democrats. Yes, David, yeah, yeah. If you can put in a word to Marianne for me, that would be great. I appreciate that. They might not have diapers in jail. Oh, I'm sure they do. Pat saying 420 posts, but only 47 that will not violate. Oh, we're just asking, we're just asking how many times do you think he'll post angry posts on social media over the weekend? This is a brand new message for the Democrats because of the pain. This is cruelty. This is cruel. These abortion bans are cruelty. And the Knight of Swords, I'm feeling like justice is going to step in. I'm not sure this is legal. It's not about right to life. This is. I, I'm going to rephrase what you just said, Joe Eliza. It isn't about right to life at all. It's about misogyny. Another dad do joke, dump. In every koi pond, there's always a fake. There's koi's A, B, and C, and then you have the decoy. <laughs> Where do you get these? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was funny. <laughs> uh, brand new messaging. On uh, on Monday night when I ran out of time, because I like to keep it to exactly an hour on Monday night, um, so we can watch Midas Touch at, at 8 Eastern, I, I promise you that I would post what the tea leaves said. And so I did. On my community page, I, I put the tea leaf in the cup. Uh, and, and I saw in Venus a mermaid. This was prior to the Arizona decision to take away women's freedom. And I saw a mermaid, and I said there was going to be a deep dive into the uh, women's rights issue, which I like to call it women's rights issue. Uh, and so I feel like this is going to give... This is going to wake up people from the, the dregs. I mean, people that just never got involved in, in even voting. Some. That are going to get out to the polls. And a while back, when, when, they, when the Dobbs decision came up, I had a very, 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 very strong feeling that it takes something really dramatic and drastic, but this thing will get everybody involved and we need to all be involved and this is the kind of thing that none of us can really stand by and let this happen right so so the flip side of these abortion bans is we we will have to it's kind of like metaphorically speaking we have to take up arms what about who todd rungren We need another farm aid except for women to raise money and awareness. I'll play at it. By the end of the month, I should have my uh, the two songs finished. One is uh, talks just paints a picture of January 6th. It's called We Won't Be Backing Down. The other is called We've Got to Come Together. I, I'm going into the studio next Wednesday. And then... Um, gonna make some calls about getting it mixed and everything so so yeah yeah I'm on it <clears throat> artists have to create you know Amy I know you're an artist you're a paint, painter you do art it's time for the artist to step it up too Michael is saying the guy yes yes there's a he, Michael is um, citing the quote about the man who, who said he didn't, it was like a, a poem or a saying about, I didn't help the others when fascism came and then I just like kind of ignored it and then they came for me. I'm just paraphrasing. 
Three cards about Joe Biden. Iran is saying they're going to attack Israel today. Ukraine is starting to lose. It's like really... Trump has got a meeting with Maga Mike. We've got the, the GOP parroting exact, exact Russian propaganda. We've got Marjorie Trader Green and, and you know, Maga Mike screwing up our, screwing up our country and, and, and screwing up the world. We've got like our national security is like Swiss cheese right now. It's a lot. <laughs> We're gonna make it through. Cheryl, did you did your water pipes break or something? So reading on Biden and how how Biden's doing. I mean, that's why that's what made me think about the world. What's going on in the world stage? We have, if we want to live, and I I'm not even joking. If we want to live, if we want our loved ones to be okay, and we want to live. If you've got little ones, you know, I was talking about my great, my uh, grand nephews and how cute they are. If you got little ones around you, you're like, I need to do something. <laughs> right? Cheryl, your basement is still flooded. Can you get a big vacuum and suck it out? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Interesting, too. I mean, we're talking about what's going on in this country. The red states... It just occurred to me. Your granddaughter popped in and surprised you today. You know, you know, we think about that, right? Rose, right? Think about that. This is this is the world they're gonna inherit. So, I mean, it's just popping into my mind now. These abortion bans are all in the states that are predominantly red states that voted for Trump. And I just saw the Three of Swords, which in, it was indicative of women really suffering from this cruelty. So do we really think that people are going to continue to vote for Republicans when they're taking away our freedom? I need to start focusing on Plan 2025 and Agenda 47. No, see, the thing is, let me explain. I'm a metaphysician. And um, scientifically, I know there's a lot of research on this now that that our that that energy goes where our where our thoughts are. So Willie Nelson has a song out about it. Energy goes where thought flows, or something like that. So I don't put any energy into thinking about Project 2025. I know enough to not read it. I can just read the energy of it. Um, I turn off the, the, the news when they, when, or a YouTube channel, whenever they say something like, if he gets back in the White House, off it goes, because I don't give any of that any energy. Besides, fear has a very intense, uh, strong energy, because it's, because it's an intense emotion, and we've got to stay away from the fear and stay active. I just wanted to explain that. What are you saying, Catherine? You don't know if it was a witch -a bee? <laughs> What's a witch -a bee? <laughs> Sometimes I just can't follow the chat. Maybe I shouldn't at the moment. Uh, Joe Biden, Ace of Cups, good economy, coming to some agreements, having talks about how to deal with the emperor who has no clothes and the destruction that he's causing and his his alliances his at his his aligning with russia okay so what darren is posting innocent potato here is the quote i didn't have it in front of me i do have a screenshot of that quote they came for the Jews and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak for me. Yeah, it's longer, but thanks for, for posting that. That's the gist of it. <laughs> Damon's like, Donald Trump with no clothes. Why are you saying Donald Trump with no clothes? Stop it. I'm trying to unsee that. <laughs> oh, because the emperor has no clothes? Yeah, I get the emperor a lot. Uh, as far as Joe Biden is doing, he's, he's, he's really... 
let's think about how exponentially more money that the Biden campaign has over Trump. The wind is crazy where you are, Anne. Yeah, there's wind everywhere. Please hit the thumbs up while I'm thinking of, of asking you. Dad joke. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes apparent. <laughs> really? Where do you get them? Uh, are you having a bong hit now, Damon? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Joe Biden is doing well with all the grassroots donations from people. <laughs> you're cracking Michael up. Thomas. More Republicans, Republican voters are, that are no longer going to vote for a Republican because of what they've done are coming into the, the democracy camp. This is not about parties. This is about democracy. The democracy camp. Damon's asking, have, have I ever used a bong? What do you think? You started it, Damon, with a 420 thing. Did you really mean you think that Trump will post 420 times? Joe Biden's doing good because he's getting more support from the American people. Rose is saying, hell no. I'm completely lost. <laughs> I'm completely lost. Don't bogart that bong, David. <laughs> You've unleashed some insanity. Ms. Lori thinks that Trump will post on Truth Social 900 times over the weekend. Four, five, I see 530 times. Someone's going to have to keep track. We love President Biden. Herbs for all. We need a little levity after this past week, that's for sure. But we did have the solar eclipse, and that was levity. We're all looking up. Which reminded me of that movie, you know, kind of like a separate, a different theme. But do you remember that movie, Don't Look Up, a few years ago? That was a really good... That was a really good, um, good movie with Meryl Streep and um, Leonardo DiCaprio, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, it was good. That's worth watching again. THC study shows preservation of mental abilities when over 45 years old. Are you saying that it's good for the brain? Trump could use a bomb. Trump is doing a lot of other drugs. We got levity, all right? <laughs> Damn it. The eclipse was very serious. What do you mean it was very serious? You're exhausted for days? I don't think that was the eclipse, Warren. We are in a high energy time. We're in Aries. The sun is in Aries. I haven't really checked the astrology lately, but since I, since I, we're going to mention astrology and the cosmos, we're having a show. Kathy Beale reached the quota of two astrology readings, and that's how we're doing it. Provided she gets two astrology readings from every Spirit Talk podcast, we go ahead and we do the next one, and it's going to be on the 16th. It's going to be a doozy. They all are. High energy, Damon. Yes, high energy. <laughs> Robert's making making you feel better about the uh, 420 thing. There's always research studies, and you, you really just don't know what to believe. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, we must meet. I know, we should have a meet and greet on the, at the Hammond Castle here on the lawn. Can you believe it's all it's an hour already? How did this happen? We need to we need to drink the tea to read the tea leaves. Um, let's pull out the Rider Wait to ask about Ukraine. I really know. And we need to pray for this and attend. I really know. I really do strongly know that when the United States releases aid, the aid package to Ukraine, which is basically just sending them our weapons that we don't need,
Oh yeah, come to the castle, Cheryl. The eclipse was a feel good event. I thought, yes, it did. It did feel good. Um, when Ukraine gets the aid from the United States, they win the war. And so I'm going to read. They do. I. They need that push. And the longer the time goes, I, I don't know how Mike Maga Mike lives with himself. I really don't. Tammy's bringing a batch of brownies to the meet and greet. <laughs> We're just making this up. <laughs> what meet and greet? Yeah, we could make it happen. I've thought about it a few times. Yes, I would bring manicotti. Of course I would. So we're going to read on Ukraine, uh, and I, I've always seen that Ukraine will get the aid. I actually didn't think it would take this long. I don't know how M Maga Mike lives with himself, but it just goes to show you how baked into the cake he is. Now you got me using pot words. How... <laughs> I'm trying to focus. You're, you're, you're making it hard for me to focus. Ukraine will win the war provided we get the aid to them. And Maga Mike is so baked into uh, Russia. Remember, he was really a big player in January 6th. See Thomas's last joke? Oh, gosh, it's so much work. You guys are making me work. Thomas's last joke. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. I can't find it. There's no focusing on Friday evenings. He's having some cocktails. Christine's. <laughs> Christine said her face hurts. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> um. I'm talking about this really serious topic and you guys are cracking me up. Uh, let's see. Three cards about Ukraine. They will win when they get the aid for the, from the United States. You guys are seriously talking about you'd have to fly in from Texas. The retreat center that I went up to in Maine, in Saco, Maine, um, I was thinking about having, a, having a, an event there. I'm looking into some things. The last dad joke, 420 dad joke. I was running errands and stopped at a cherry farm stand, then a cannabis store, bought a bing, bought a bong, bought a bong. <laughs> that wasn't from Thomas, that was from Warren. Uh, okay, here's the repeat dad joke, 420 dad joke. I was running errands and stopped at a cherry farm stand. I just read that one. I thought that Warren uh, posted a dad joke. He was repeating it for you. Amy would have to fly in from Oklahoma. You guys, are you planning to come to a meet and greet? Let me see what I can arrange. Okay, I'm reading about Ukraine. And this looks like they're going to get aid. Does Warren partake? I think nobody's revealing here. Well, some are. Your joke was the worst one? Don't worry, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> It looks like Ukraine is going to get the aid. It looks like the Democrats are working wicked hard to get aid to Ukraine. It really, really does. I want all of us to pray that Ukraine gets the aid that they need because it's becoming clear as clear as clear can be that the Putin Republicans are working for Putin. So, Warren saying he can't wait for the Ukraine aid. You're not alone in that, you know. Yeah, so let's keep praying. Gloria's had her, her Ukraine colors uh, the whole time she's been in the chat. The desert is huge. Bonfires are massive. Are you, where are you having bonfires? Slava, Ukraine. If we weren't all crazy, we would be insane. The late, great Jimmy Buffett, man. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Ah, oh, you just made me think of Jimmy Buffett. He was so awesome. I have a dear friend who played on my record who's... 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 
we're going to lose him. Um, his name is Dave. Please keep Dave in your prayers. He used to play for Billy Joel. He's a good friend. He played on my record. And um, you mentioned Jimmy Buffett, and it made me think of great talents that we're losing or that we've lost. So, uh, the spirit world is a beautiful place. Did I know the Norwegian military is putting barcodes on all their battleships? That way, when they return to port, they can stand Scandinavian. <laughs> I have to read that one aloud again. For people, for people watching it on replay, I have to read it again. Did you know the Norwegian military is putting barcodes on all their battleships? That way, when they return to port, they can Scandinavian. <laughs> Oh, Amy was talking about Burning Man friends. If you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. Second of all, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Please hit the thumbs up. I'm not finished yet. I just want to say that if you're new to this channel, I know we're a little different here. I'm very aware of that. And some people have complained in the past that it's kind of scattered and it's all over the place, but there's kind of a tempo. There's kind of a rhythm. And those of us that come, you know, that well, obviously I come here every time because it's my show but 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 there is a certain kind of click thing going on but we want all you all of you here <laughs> thank you it's an amazing community we have a, we have a lot of fun we have a lot of laughs we have dad jokes we have group hugs and and, and we want you to share with your friends because these times are so incredibly unique that we have to figure out ways to come together and inspire each other so so <laughs> Kitty Holler is saying, I'm old and slow, so I need that. You have to stop saying you're old. You're as old as you feel. Yeah, we're all different. Um, I have tea leaves to read. What are you guys doing for the weekend? Jackie comes for the community in the lab. So we want more, we want more members, too. So it's all love. It's all about love. Marby's sending us tons of hearts. I'm not done yet, Warren. No, don't, don't rush me. Rose planted yellow roses today. Well, that's appropriate. You have the right name for that. Michael loves coming here. And you make my, you really make my day. You make my night. That, that you help us to have a great time. Cheryl's spring cleaning. I need to start spring cleaning and packing to move. Y'all know I'm moving May 1st, right? Tammy's grandsons are coming over. Awesome. The click can grow. It's C L I Q U E. I feel like a, an English teacher. Let's take a look at the tea leaves, shall we? Let's use our magic turkey feather tonight. Because my table's a mess and I don't see my pointer. Okay. What do we have? We have a bow in between. There's a bow. And it's in between the spade and the bell. A bow is a gift. And the bell is news that we're going to have. I do think that we're going to hear something that we uh, that we can appreciate on the 15th. Robert likes the longer shows. Good. I'm glad. Thank you for the feedback. Hanging out with the rocks and working on your books. Bond Blue, you have the rocks. Bond Blue has given me piles of crystals. I just love it. Thomas sees a turtle. I did look that up the other day. I forgot what it said. Lots and lots of tea leaves. We've had a lot of activity in Venus, in the Venus cup. And I see a big figure here. It looks like an animal. It looks a bit like a dragon. So we have, and I see, I kind of see a crab here. It looks like a crab. This looks like a dragon. This looks like a dragon on its hind legs, and it's right over Venus. A Sasquatch. <laughs> Did you already start with that bong? <laughs> Sorry, you guys are so funny tonight. Where's the moon today? And uh, Gemini. Yeah, that's, that's an energetic. That's an energetic moon sign. Do you all see it? <clears throat> So, and there's a crab in the bottom, and, um, and there's a bow here. So I'm going to look up a couple of things. 
and one is dragon. We're in the year of the dragon, by the way. And while I'm looking this up, I want to tell you that my income is 100% dependent on people booking readings, personal readings. So, <laughs> are you still talking about bongs? PsychicAnnetteDion.com. It's in the description. Book a reading. We're, we're all helping each other. I want to help you, but you have to book a reading for me to help you. You think the crab looks like a helicopter? I don't know if helicopter would be in the book, but um, I could kind of just intuit. A dragon. A dragon over the Venus section of the cup. Seems pretty big to me. It's a big dragon. Something may not be what it seems. The dragon is a master of illusion. Beware of flashy strangers and you you can enjoy the show but do not get taken in. I think that that's, that's about, we need to recognize that we have the power and to not think that we don't have the power because this is dragon. Thank you, Cheryl. And we're in the year of the dragon and it's really saying that a lot of women are going to be weighing it out. Should I get involved? Should I fight? Or should I not? And this is saying, yes, you should. Okay. Michael Garrity needs some energy. We'll send it to him. Uh, a bow is a gift. I think that's got to do with the what's going to happen on Monday. We're going to feel like, I don't know. Let me ask the pendulum. Before we go, I want to ask the pendulum if what I'm picking up on... I know, I've got like five different pendulums I'm using here. Uh, is, is Judge Michonne going to do something that we all are like, thank God, yes. I think that's what that is. Oh, and I didn't look up the crab. The crab has to do with the sign of cancer. Which, okay, that's the... I'm seeing a crab and it has to do with the sign of cancer and the moon will be in cancer on Monday. Uh, so that makes sense. And a bow, I want to just look up bow, wrong book. <laughs> I'm looking in the nefarious card book. The bow. I don't know what's going on out there. The bow is a happy and fortunate symbol. Okay, so we're going to hear news that we like. And I didn't even know mermaid was in here, but here it is. This is from the other night. Uh, it, it signified a deep dive into this, uh, I know, I don't know what's going on out there. They were really loud earlier. The, the mermaid had to do with doing a deep dive into the, um, the women's, uh, women's freedom issue. So let's, are you guys all stoned now? What's going on? <laughs> Did you hear a bottle drop? Please join grassroots of democracy. GrassrootsOfDemocracy.com. Yeah, maybe the people outside have the bongs. I actually can't figure out where all that noise is coming from. <laughs> we meet on Saturdays to do to write postcards and to do do the work. So please join us at GrassrootsOfDemocracy.com. We have another let, dad joke. We're not leaving yet. Did you know that humans eat more bananas than monkeys? It's totally true. Think about it. When was the last time you ate a monkey? <laughs> Oh, you're killing me over here. Grassrootsofdemocracy.com. Church of Spirituality, as far as I know, it's taken three weeks for me to work out the kinks, but at Church of Spirituality is a new channel. I'm going to give it a test run, but that's where I'll be on Sunday. If I happen to not be there, um, I'll be on this channel. Do they have tables outside the bar? Inside? No, not right now. They're just being loud. I love you guys. And I had a blast. Enjoy the weekend. Check out Church of Spirituality on Sunday. Please donate. Please book a reading. I'm also a spiritual life coach. And there's all kinds of other things that, that I'll tell you more about in the future. All right. Love you. Namaste. Have a great night. Bye.